Want to build a $40 billion empire with just one app? Sounds impossible? It's not. Most users bounce between 10 to 20 apps a day. One for rides, one for food, one for payments. It's messy. It's inefficient. Super apps fix that by combining services into one smooth, seamless experience. It's pure convenience for users. And for founders, it means higher retention, more cross-selling, and massive monetization opportunities. But what makes a super app worth a billion? Users. Let's take WeChat. It started in 2011 as just a messaging app with about 2.8 million users. Back then, it was worth maybe 50 to 100 million dollar. Then it added payments, then ride hailing, then shopping, food delivery, bills, you name it. And it all stayed in one app. No jumping between 10 different tools. Just comfort and convenience. Now, WeChat is used by over 1.3 billion people and is worth over 200 billion dollar. And it's not alone. Grab started with taxi rides. Now it's used for food, payments, insurance, basically everything. It has 180 million users and is worth over $10 billion. Gojek began with motorbikes. Today it offers 20 plus services like groceries, massages, and courier delivery. It serves 170 million users and is worth around seven to $10 billion. Alipay started as a wallet. Now it's a financial super app with 1 billion users, valued around $150 billion. So what's the secret? They all became a one-stop lifestyle hub. More services is equal to more users, is equal to more value. That's the network effect, and that's how your app can grow too. If you want to know more about this, we've broken it down further in the blog. Check the link in the description for in-depth details. What are the opportunities for the super app in the West? Unlike Asia, the West hasn't fully embraced the super app model yet. Users still juggle multiple apps for banking, food delivery, ride hailing, messaging, and more. That fragmentation is a massive opportunity. Tech giants like Elon Musk's X are now openly aiming to become a Western super app, combining payments, social media, and commerce. Even Uber has started moving beyond rides into deliveries and financial services. But no one has truly cracked the code yet. This means there's still white space, especially for startups or vertical-specific apps to build bundled experiences that solve multiple problems within a single platform. The demand is there and the model works. And the first mover advantage? Still up for grabs in many sectors. How can you close this gap? Big tech often moves slow due to legacy systems, regulations, and internal silos. But startups and mid-sized players can build focused, vertically integrated ecosystems faster. You don't need to be everything on day one. You just need the right core. Maybe that's fintech, mobility, healthcare, or logistics and then layer complementary services around it. By prioritizing user convenience, data integration, and seamless UX, you can become the lifestyle platform your audience didn't know they needed. You can be what the Western market is missing, a true user-first, service-rich, all-in-one experience. Even in Asian markets like China, India, and Southeast Asia, huge gaps still exist. Unbanked populations need integrated fintech, Rural logistics is still broken. Hyperlocal commerce lacks digital enablement. There's room to innovate, but not by cloning WeChat, but by localizing problems worth solving. Want to know the real challenges founders face when building super apps and how you can solve them? Read our full guide. If you're serious about building a super app that actually works, we're here to help. We specialize in helping companies build scalable, secure, and user-friendly platforms faster. We've created over 900 plus apps across 10 plus industries. Let's build your super app together. Click the link in the caption to book a free strategy call or drop us a message. We'd love to hear what you're building.